Tim Thomas and the Bruins here at home ice at the TD Gardens in Boston as they try to take a 2-0 lead over the Penguins before heading on the road to Pittsburgh. Justin Hatton for VSN welcoming you to our presentation of the Penguins Bruins Game 2. And a shot from Kunitz is turned aside by the blocker of Thomas. In deep, threw one in front to Lucic, and it's knocked aside there as he tried to skate into the crease area as Crosby moves the puck out. Coming in front, Kovalev's shot is knocked aside by Thomas. Out in front, intercepted by Krejci, gets the puck out of the zone. Horton, tried to throw it in front, picked off by Kovalev. That one's sent into the end. Back around. And it's Horton. Almost lost the plan. He did lose the puck there. Regained possession for a second, but was hit right back off. As the Penguins on the attack here with Latang. Sends him back to the point. Shot doesn't make it through. Chara picks up the loose puck. Not much offense from either side so far. A couple shots from Pittsburgh, but nothing really from Boston. Halfway through this first period. Latang moves it out of the Pittsburgh zone. Pass intercepted by Zidane Chara. Patrice Bergeron loses the puck up against the boards. Neal over the line. Sorry, this is Latang. Come in, shoots one. And it hit a defender's leg and didn't go far. Bergeron fires one into the end. It's going to be picked up by Savard. Out in front, and it's picked off by Malkin. Penguins on the attack. Sends one across for Neal. Back to Martin. A drive, and it's saved by Thomas, and the rebound is swept away. That one's fired into the zone. Latang back around for Martin. Malkin almost lost the puck, passed it through the skates. And Latang over the line. Heads back, sends one to Dupuis in the slot, and it a body and rolled right into Thomas's lap. And he covers that one up. Hit Neal in front. And Thomas down in the butterfly, able to make the save. Two minutes to go. Picard with a drive off the blocker. Penguins have really uh, had the majority of scoring opportunities. With Niskanen shot there, and it's turned aside. Adams re regains possession. Picard with a shot, and it hit a body and floated over the net. Marshawn got hit. Stahl, still the puck here up against the glass, loses it. Oh, it's intercepted. Back to Jordan Stahl. Lost it again. And Julio's is going to move it out with the time in the period ending. Claude Julian's offense has got to get going here as Pittsburgh definitely out shooting them in that period. And after one, we go into the second period. No score yet in Boston. out here for the second period and the puck drop and the tie up one by Co the Penguins Kovalev picking that one up coming in front and he loses an edge and Mihalik back to Latang's one timers blocked in front Krejci turns the puck over able to get it back off the hit put on and an interception at center ice and another blowout 
And another turnover. Ferentz. Up and it's intercepted by Crosby. Latang over the line. Can't get the shot through. It's weakly kicked aside and the Bruins trying to move it out. Intercepted Kunitz in front to Kovalev and it goes wide. Couldn't get enough behind that shot. Latang sends it back to the point for Kovalev. Fires off of Chara. Goes into the corner weakly. Ju the Bruins are able to move it out. Horan coming in off the pad. Rebound and it's saved by Floro. And he was able to find it between his legs. As I think that might be the first two shots on goal for the Bruins. I didn't see the uh, shot totals between periods, but I'm pretty sure the Bruins did not get one away in that first period. And the Penguins finally make it out of their zone. It's with Malkin. Oh, Dupuis was able to make a nice recovery there on Malkin's turnover. Malkin, 109 points in the regular season. Up for the Hart Memorial Trophy for MVP, along with Steven Stamkos and Henrik Lundqvist. Martin's drive off the chest. Paye sends that one across for Savard. One-on-one -on -one chance here. Orpik able to get back on defense. Across, Bergeron save. Rebound save. And it was able to be picked up by Orpik. Neal moves it out. Long pass is not going to make it to uh, his intended target. It's going to be an icing on the touch-up. Boston with an offensive zone faceoff. Their uh, scoring opportunities have been from getting the puck to the net and rushing to the rebound. That's uh, that last foray of shots. We're all rebound chances. And uh, what they've been doing for the second period is getting a puck to the net and pouncing on the rebound. Flurry's rebound control has not been very great so far. As the Penguins move out here, Dupuis with a hard stop on the line sends it across. And that was flipped into the corner. Race for the puck, beat out here by uh, the Bruins. Ferentz able to move it out, almost turned it over near his crease. Char moves it to Peverly. Puts it around the boards. And Neal fires that one into the zone. Ferentz back around. Neal with a shot off the pad. Char was able to pick up the loose puck. 20 seconds, less than that now. Period coming to an end. Orpik with an interception there as three Penguins were on the player who passed the puck. And a shot there goes wide of the pad and the period ends. Boston found their offense, but still no one able to put anything in the back of the net. And after two periods, we're still tied at zero. No score so far, as both of these offenses really need to get more work done, and eventually we'll have a goal in this game. Krejci loses the faceoff here. Kunitz over the line. Loses the puck. Three on two chance here for the Bruins. Lucic holds back. Sends it across. Duffs the shot. Horton. Krejci back for Ferentz and a drive off of Fleury and he was ran into. No interference penalty called. Pass here to Crosby. Waits for his defense to get in, sends it in front, and it just hopped over the stick of Kunitz in the top of the crease. As Char moving the puck over here for the Bruins, Lucic in front, and he scores! Right into the slot, and he puts it over the side of the blocker of Marc-Andre Fleury. 
nice play. Drove right through the middle of the defenders, leaving it almost in a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And he just takes the shot and gets it by. one nothing Boston, taking advantage of the home ice so far. Kovalev wins this draw with uh, coming in on the tie-up. Kunitz in front off the block, a rebound gives into the corner. Savard able to pick that one up, sends it around, going to be intercepted here. Kovalev coming in tight, shoots one wide. Going to be picked up by Andrew Ferentz, gets it to Mark Savard. Almost turned over, but the long stick of Chara was there, and he sends it down. And in turn over here, almost offside, Bruins are going to be able to smash that one into the zone. Crosby with a dangerous play there, got it through his crease. Almost intercepted on that pass, James Neal with a puck. Sends one, and it was saved by Thomas, and he got tripped up there and couldn't put the rebound on his stick. And now it's the Bruins on the attack. Bergeron on the right wing, centers to Savard in a tie. Paye. And I'm not sure what he was trying to do with the puck there, but it ended up in a turnover. Penguins on the attack. Kovalev coming in and a shot off the pad. Just over six minutes to go in this period. Malkin loses the puck here to Seidenberg. Up to Peverly. Two on two, two on three. Julio in and he scores! Peverly lost the puck there when he went for the shot. And Julio was behind the defense, just picks up the loose puck. Watch him drive wide for the pass, but then he sees the uh, shot fail, and he rushes that slot area, picks the puck up, puts it far corner, and it's another goal on that far side that Marc-Andre Fleury's led in tonight, and it's 2-0, with under five minutes to go here, Boston converting on their home ice so far, Pittsburgh with a drive here, Latang shot didn't make it through, Cook coming around, top of the slot, can't make a shot, coming back in, deep in the zone, put up against the glass, Dug out here, Adams! Couldn't take a shot, finally takes one off the pad. Rebound poked away by Jordan Stahl before Thomas could cover. However, Bruins are able to take possession. Corvo, long pass to Puglio. Sends it across for Peverly. Back in deep to Puglio, setting up a shot here. Shot comes and it doesn't make it through. Peverly back to the point. Sends it across for side and we're gonna drive into the glove of Flurry. 47 seconds remain in this third period. Boston looking to take the 2-0 lead in the series as we look at some of Tim Thomas's highlights tonight. Made every stop so far. Nothing gotten behind him. As we see that pad save was almost baited into the center of the net, but he stayed over. Shot here off the blocker. Kovalev shot there was not the side. So far, he's been in the zone, squared on almost every shot, as the pace off is won here by the Penguins, will Flurry head to the bench. Yes, he's on the way. Kovalev sends out to Mikolek, fires off the blocker, oh, it's behind him, what a save by Thomas, and the net comes off the moorings. He makes an amazing tornado spin save. And the Holic ran into him and just knocked the net off, and we're getting a face-off in the offensive air, just behind the blue line, actually. And 32 seconds to go, Flurry is still out of the net. Lucic, the Bruins get possession. Open that chance for Horton, and he converts it. And it's a 3-0 win here for the Bruins. Maybe. <laughs> Unless uh, there's more goals in these last 20 seconds. But uh, this is pretty much a Bruins win. And the puck dropped. One by Crosby. Up for Kunitz. Waits. Holds. Holds. Fires. Scores! And they break the shot out of Tim Thomas with only 19.2 seconds to go. Kunitz just... Came in, held a little bit, used Chara as a screen, and that one went through the five hole and off the pipe and into the net. 
They didn't really, he used it as a screen to hold the shot, and then he just came aside and ripped the slap shot. Unsure if Thomas uh, got fully square to that shot, although it did go five hole, but I, I don't think he expected that to stay on the ground. And the Penguins pull again with Crosby, or I'm sorry, Kunitz's shot turned aside there. And another open net chance here for the Bruins. Lucic over the line, and he can't make the shot. Off the pipe! Horton scores the second empty netter! Two empty net goals in the same game for Nathan Horton, and that's his sixth of the playoffs as he picks up the rebound that went off the pipe, and he put it in the net. Four to one in three seconds to go. The Bruins take the two nothing lead in the series. Pittsburgh heading back to their home ice down two games to none. They're going to have to convert Dan Biles' team must come back from this. They've been great at home all season long and they've got to continue uh, with the play that they've had there. They're only lost in these playoffs until uh, this Bruin series uh, in the Flyers series was on the road in Philadelphia. So they've been undefeated at home so far in these playoffs and Pittsburgh fans looking to uh, keep that streak alive although they do not have home ice advantage in this series. So, for everyone here at VSN, Justin Hatton, thank you for joining us for this Game 2 presentation between the Bruins and Penguins. And we hope to see you in Game 3 and other games in this round of the playoffs. Thanks for watching once more, and good night.